and welcome to Vlogmas 2020. My name is Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes, a YouTube channel and growing online business encouraging you to stitch a little creativity and joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you all doing? I hope you are well. Happy 1st of December. Today is Tuesday, December 1st and it is, as I said, the first official day of Vlogmas 2020. I am so thrilled and excited and a little anxious to be honest to be doing Vlogmas again this year because it is going to be very different from years past for a variety of reasons because you know 2020 hello for all of us but also because I won't be singing and doing the holiday music performance rush for the first time in about I want to say about 20 years and the first time in about nine years with my previous position at the San Francisco Symphony. So it's going to be a hard one, but also a really exciting one to discover new traditions and to do a lot of the things that I have been missing out and not doing for years now, which is really taking time to enjoy the slow, dark cozy evenings to cooking and baking a ton to i don't know just really relaxing to casting on and and knitting and stitching all of the things not just a, a couple of things and just really excited to discover some new traditions this year and to discover some things that are happening in a new way this year like i really want to go look up some places to do some drive around christmas lights viewing in neighborhoods 
Um, I really want to go to some of the parks here in the North Bay. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area and yeah, it's going to be a fun time. But today is Tuesday. It's a work day. I'm actually working from home. I work as an administrator at the San Francisco Opera and I have a small business, Stitching the High Notes, where I make project bags and stitch markers and all kinds of stuff for you all, for your creations, for your creative endeavors. Uh, and as it is the first couple of days after the big holiday shop update, I'm actually finishing up all of the bags that you ordered. Thank you all again so much. Oh my goodness, y'all y'all are ready for some project bags <laughs> but i'm finishing those up and starting to mail those out to you all so it's going to be a very busy week and uh but i'm going to be taking breaks to take a walk outside i'm going to do that every day i'm very determined this is going to be i'm going to say it here we're going to walk outside even if it's for five minutes Usually if you just get out for five minutes, you're out for longer than that, but, um, and enjoy the scenery and all of the birds they are flying around out there, have a lovely migration path near where I live. So it's going to be a fun time, but I do need to get back to that sewing machine, which you can see back there in the background and start packing up some orders and oh, it's time to open up some advent calendars. So I'm not going to go like full throttle every day, but I did want to properly introduce these, as I said. So first up we have the Cozy Knitter 24 Stripe Advent Skein. I'm so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this all year. I ordered it in the spring, I think, early summer. It's my first time getting one of Christina's skeins and I'm really excited. I'm going to wind this up tonight after the work day and we're going to start knitting as much as possible each day. A color a day is the goal, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes maybe more than that. Sometimes it might be like two rows. <laughs> so let's open it up. We'll find it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, so awesome. Ooh, and it's two skeins, so I could do two at a time. Amazing. Totally gonna do that. <gasps> awesome. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I'll show you a close-up right here. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So this is on her Bliss uh, base, and it's a fingering weight. 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 120 grams, uh, four, or 405 meters, or 444 yards. Um, it says to hand wash in cool water, prolonged soaking, and some soaps may cause some bleeding, so good to keep that in mind. Lay flat to dry, do not tumble dry, made in Canada. Oh my goodness, and here's her information. I'll have it all linked down below as well. Oh, so awesome. Oh my goodness. And she has like this awesome little thing down here. It says, uh, December 1st cast on at this end. So that is going to be my treat later this evening, but I wanted to open it now, of course, to show you and it's all, it's beautiful color in the light sunlight glory. It's just really, really, it's not really pastel, but it's like, it's not your like, it's got your traditional Christmas colors in there, but also like the winter blues mixed in and like the yellow for the star, a couple of different shades of yellow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Awesome. Christina, this is awesome. Then we have, I'm gonna mix it, alternate here. The non-yarny one I got is a Nespresso Advent. And it is two o'clock p.m. right now. <laughs> I was pretty busy this morning. I was doing some work and then also some shop work as well. I went to the grocery store, as I said. Um, but I need an afternoon coffee. I don't know about this time of year because the minute it turns dark, which is about 4.30 p.m. right now, I 
my melatonin releases and I'm just like, it's time for bed, but I have still a lot of work to do and things to do and or reading that I want to do. We're playing Animal Crossing, which I'm like obsessed with right now. So I'm gonna have an afternoon coffee. So let's see which Nespresso pod is today's coffee. Will I like it? Will I not like it? We'll see. So where is the number one? Here's the number one down here. Open it up. Ooh, I'm gonna murder this Italian. Sorry for all my Italian peeps out there. Uh, Ispirazione Genova Livatano. Le Levanto, Levanto, scusi. <laughs> Once upon a time, a long time ago, I used to speak Italian, but. So I'll fire that puppy up. I switched my mugs out earlier, which you saw. So I'll have to get another Christmas mug out of the cupboard. Yum. Okay, and then the next yarny one, which was a surprise gift to me from Nancy of Trilogy Yarns. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Nancy. So grateful for you. What a treat, an absolute treat. So this is her advent calendar, which is based on Christmas movies from what I can tell. And this one, the first day is Jingle All The Way. And let's open it up. Ooh. Ooh, they're big skates too, Nancy. Oh my goodness. I think I have to figure out what to make. I already have two habitation throws back here from last year's advent calendars. So this is gonna have to be something amazing. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, Christmas tree. My goodness, <gasps> yarn fumes. Let's have a moment for yarn fumes. Mm. Yarn and coffee and last but not least, tea. Tea Pigs is probably my favorite tea brand. I love their Earl Grey. They have a couple of different Earl Greys. I like the Bulldog one and I can't remember. It's like a Darjeeling Earl Grey that I've been drinking right now. So I saw that they had an advent or Christmas countdown. My sister Caroline was like, it's Christmas countdown, not advent. But it's an advent calendar. Um, so yeah, so let's see day one. I like how this like is looking like an accordion situation. It's cool. So let's do day one. So fun. This is the best time of year ever. Ooh, ooh yeah. Spiced winter red tea. I actually have some of this. So some of these, I went a little bit crazy on tea pigs a couple weeks ago. And um, let me get this out. They really got this in there. There we go. Hold that up for you. Um, I went a little bit crazy at tea pigs and I got a lot of their awesome winter holiday blends. This is really, really good. It's, um, let's see what it says. A naturally flavored herbal and spice infusion. We've captured the best bits of winter in a cup. Mold wine and mistletoe, winter coats and rosy cheeks, log fires, happy cats and old movies on the telly, tea and warming spices, a blend of orange peel, cinnamon and cloves on a rooibos tea base. Perfect on a crisp, frosty day or with brandy at bedtime. I'll be skipping the brandy, but that sounds amazing. Drink responsibly, it says. Oh, and these are all in really beautiful little compostable tea like packets. And this is compostable, I believe. And oh, so, so good. They use real quality whole tea leaves, whole herbs, berries, flowers, and spices. Not the dust found in regular tea bags. A tea worthy of worship belongs in a tea temple. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's in a tea temple. Uh, it's biodegradable mesh bag made from cornstarch. Not my favorite, but okay. Allows the leaves lots of room to infuse. It's really, really wonderful. So this has rooibos, orange peel, natural flavorings, ginkgo leaves. Ooh 
orange blossom, cinnamon, ginseng cloves, and safflower petals. Awesome. So while these teas usually do have some natural flavorings, they're not, they're not like overpowering, overpoweringly like chemically tasting. They just have like straight up ingredients in it. So I really, really love this. So I'll be having this later this evening because this is caffeine free, I believe, right? Yeah, naturally caffeine free. I think there's a mix of caffeinated and caffeine free. We shall see. So that is the first day. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee. I have some uh, packing slips and stuff to print off. I need to look and see if I want to invest actually in a label, thermal label printer. We're gonna see if I'm ready to do that yet. It might have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, regardless, I've gotta order some more labels. Uh, and not just general administrati sewing workday stuff. So I will check in with you all later as I said. I gotta get used to all this again. should have tasted it before I put milk in. I'm going to try to remember to do that each day. It's pretty good. Pretty strong. Stronger than what I'm used to. I'll have to look up what the strength is. I usually do like a five, four or five strength out of 10, I think, uh, on espresso. It's pretty good. Okay. Afternoon coffee. I will, I will I'm going to regret this, but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> done with work for the day and I just realized I haven't been outside for a walk yet so I'm gonna go outside and hopefully catch some of the sunset Just about everybody had the same idea as I did and we're out and about. The neighborhood was hopping. <laughs> it was really busy, but it was so lovely to get out and get some fresh air. And I really need to find a time each day to do this so that I get into more routine. I keep saying, I'm gonna do it every day. I'm gonna walk outside, but before I know it, the day has gone and I, haven't done it. So I think it needs to be like some of the things that I do for sure first thing, first thing in the morning, like I journal and I meditate. I need to like maybe do like a 1 p.m. after lunch walk. Just play with it this month and see what works best. But now I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna wind up that gorgeous skein of 24 stripes of Advent, the cozy knitter. And I might, I'm gonna cast on tomorrow morning um, just because I still need to make dinner and do a few other things like edit this vlog. 
but I'm gonna sign off here and I hope that you all enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas and here is to a full month of fun daily vlogs. I can't wait to kind of discover the month and the new season with you all. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.